Hey guys, Frank the Handyman here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a simple and inexpensive sunshade for your plants or fruit and vegetable garden. Please stay tuned so you won't miss out on any details. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that I'll be uploading every single week. So we have this beautiful fruits and vegetable garden. It's about 20 feet wide by approximately 35 feet long. And I have a ton of fruits and vegetables here. I'm going to be putting this like mesh material. It gives, it blocks like 70% of the sun. It has those ties uh, for the ends. And I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can know where to obtain it. The first thing that I'm doing and I recommend is for you to extend this mesh material from you know side to side so you can see how much area it will cover. Now, unfortunately, I try to get the biggest uh, size that they have and this one, it doesn't cover the entire garden, but since today, tomorrow, and basically like these three days, it's gonna be like close to 100 degrees. I don't want the sun to burn or kill my plants. So I'm going to be putting in this simple and inexpensive sunshade. And the only thing you need to do is get some tree stakes. These are eight foot long tree stakes that I purchased. I'm using a like a mallet hammer and I got a little step ladder so I can get enough uh, leverage. And I'm just, you know, basically pounding this stake down about a, a few feet. Once like it's it was close to like my eye level then I felt that was a pretty good height. I want it to be a little bit tall so I can still access the area underneath. And this is a great solution, especially if you need to put up something real quick in order to protect your plants or like in my case, a fruit and vegetable garden. Now those ties, the, the black uh, ones that you saw in the beginning, I'm using those to wrap around the, the pole. And the way how I'm doing that is I first like I install a screw just one screw into the stake and then I'm wrapping around that um, the tie and hooking it up into the mesh it has like holes so that's how I can attach it and then just uh, secure it to each one of the poles I'm only gonna put up full four poles this material is not like super heavy and uh, th you know these poles will definitely support the weight and uh, you know, especially since you just need to extend it. Now, I recommend when you put the stake in the ground to drive it at an angle away from the inside. Kind of like what you see right there on the left. I have a slight angle towards the left. So that way when I stretch and pull the, the mesh material, it's going to tighten it and just keep it nice and snug. And it's, you know, it's going to stay secure. And this is... I have two sides to my garden. In the middle, I have like a paver walkway. So I purchased two of these sunshades that it's basically going to help me to cover the majority of my garden in the middle. On each side, I mean, it's going to be exposed, but it's only going to be a little bit of, you know, crazy heat on it. And I actually, I checked it out like a few days later, and thankfully, none of my plants died. So this is a perfect, easy, and simple DIY project that you can do yourself. It literally took me like, I mean, not even an hour, you know, to install uh, eight stakes and these two mesh materials. And you can see right there, it's a beautiful shade that it gives. And this is how I, I basically just wrapped it around. I have the nail that helps to like, that way it doesn't go anywhere. Even with the wind, this, uh, you know material it's not gonna go anywhere so I got the one side in place I'm gonna go ahead and put this other side as well each one it's gonna have its own four stakes I was hoping to use the middle one and I probably could have you know cuz along each side it has several holes 
so like instead of extending it all the way i could have probably used like a different hole but it didn't work out perfectly so i just decided to put four stakes for each one of these materials so i can get it as you know secure as possible now there's me i'm putting on the second one over there at the entryway and it's gonna overlap a little bit at the center but that's totally fine the more shade I can get for all of these plants, the better. Especially since I recently planted, you know, some broccoli and I have some spinach, some carrots. I have a little bit of everything. Um, cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes, potatoes, radishes. Uh, those big bushes that you see right there on my right, those are raspberry that they're doing really great. I have some blueberries as well, uh, green beans, strawberries, corn, I mean pretty much like all the produce that you can think of, the most common ones that you can get at the grocery store. I have it planted over here and this garden is the perfect size, um, you know, like for all the things that you want to put in there and then I have the walkway in between. This is a great setup that I highly recommend for you to do it. Actually, in one of my videos prior, uh, a little earlier than this one, I uploaded a few of them showing you how to how you can make your own garden. This area, it used to be all grass like the rest that you see around. And I actually like tilled it up. I removed as much grass as possible. I brought in a bunch of like garden mulch. I mixed it all in there. I put the, the fence around for the to protect it against the deer and i've been weeding it you know every week and honestly like i love how this garden turned out it's a perfect size and now like i just installed this shade so it's gonna be perfect you know for these next three days that it's gonna be like 95 one day i think it's it was like over 100 degrees so you definitely want to do something like this otherwise you know you you can risk your plants like just not making it so that's pretty much it, you know, of how you can install a simple and inexpensive sunshade to protect your plants or a fruits and vegetable garden. I hope you liked this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that I'll be uploading every single week. In the description below, I'm going to leave some links with the products and tools that will help you do this kind of project definitely check those out and that will also support our channel and if you have any comments you know please send them my way and if you want me to do a different kind of video let me know as well thanks for watching may god bless you and i'll see you on the next project